What is up, heroes? This is Midnight Zero. Welcome back to Let's Play Celeste Blind. In the last episode, we got all of the strawberries from the main game. As the, the record showed afterwards, we are going to have five more strawberries to find later on. But we got all the ones to get the best ending. And in this episode, we're going to try to get all of the crystal hearts. I believe there's one in each of the chapters. And then we'll focus on the B-sides. I'm actually really excited to get back to the like playing the game uh, with fresh new platforming on the B-sides. That's definitely what I'm looking forward to the most. I think the Crystal Hearts will be neat. They'll be a little bit um, less tedious for the reasons I mentioned in previous episodes as getting some of the strawberries. Um, but I also know that they can be pretty cool puzzles. So what we'll do is I'll navigate to them. I know we found a couple of them while we were playing through originally, but just didn't take the time or uh, or didn't have the the mental fortitude at the time to actually solve the puzzles that they entailed. But for now, I think we're doing all right. I'm, what I'm gonna have to get used to is that, um, what's it called? I think it's up there, if I recall correctly. What we're going to have to get used to is having only one dash again. Hmm. Yeah, I don't remember exactly how to get up there. But I think that's where I need to go, though. Ah. Uh, I was going to say, with only one dash, I don't think that's really a uh, much of an option. Is there a strawberry up here? Or no, I think I think this was it. Yeah, I remember doing this, like, distinct puzzle. Is it up here? Yeah, so then we go over this way some more. This is the one with the birds. Because we found this strawberry. Okay, and it was something about the colors. So it's like white, purple, yep. Yeah. Hmm... White, purple, blue, red, purple, yellow. Do they always expand in the same way? They do. I remember when I first came here, I thought it was that I had to interact with the birds in a certain color. But I don't think that's the case, because it doesn't seem to do anything when I actually interact with them. Maybe, if they're always doing, it's got to be the configuration of them when they do that expansion. Let's, let's try this. Um, we'll dash in a particular direction. So it's like up was the white, and then purple is left, and then it's blue, which I think was down right. Oops, don't want to die. Maybe I just need to input then? So it's like, up, right, down, right, and then, what, red, purple, yellow? Red was upright, and then purple was left again, and then yellow is up left? Do I really have to input those dashes, though? I feel like I do. I think that's what they're going for, right? Is there a way to, like, interact with the, uh, the computer? Hmm. Whenever I slide off, that's not good. Maybe I have to be, like, up here. Otherwise... I don't know, maybe I have to be here? Uh, because that's the only place I can actually interact or do the the sequence without like falling off I'm pretty sure that was the sequence hmm I don't know guys do I have to like go here and then do it so it's like up, and then left, down right, what's red again? 
Upright. Hmm. Upright, left, and then up, left. It's like up, left, down, right, upright, left, up, left. Oh! Did I just need to do it in like a certain succession? Like I just need to do it quickly enough? Cool. So we've finally obtained pointless machines. What? A crystal heart and wow, this this effect is crazy. How cool is this? Pointless machines. All right, don't really know what's going on there, but regardless, we'll head back to the map. We've now collected the crystal heart for the Forsaken City. And we'll move on to the second one. This is chapter two. I don't remember, and it doesn't tell us where the crystal heart is in here. I am gonna look up the location because I do remember there were some that we found and there were some that we uh, have never found. And I don't remember exactly where they were, nor do I want to spend all the time looking for them. So, um... Okay, from a qui- from a qui- wow, uh, from a quick description of how to get this one. It sounds really, really cool. Um, also super... Clever, I guess, to uh, a way of getting up there. Come on. Oh, what? That's not a ledge I can actually, like, land on? Um, it was like you had to dash up and then up right over and over, and you'll eventually make it up there. Am I going to make it up to the next screen? I am. Interesting. Oh, you know what? I was going to say, yeah, if I uh, repeat the same trick, I should be able to do that. Wow, that is that is really clever. This is something I never would have found on my own. <laughs> Absolutely not. But that is a really cool mechanic. I can definitely appreciate that. So there's the second one, Resurrections. Are these like challenges, names of a particular section or something? I don't, I don't know, but that was really cool. Um, I can definitely appreciate that. All right, and with that, we're on to chapter three. So where in the Celestial Resort? I think this is one of the ones that we found. I think so. Okay, so we are going to play this portion. I wonder if we found this one or not. I remember there was at least one secret in this room, or in this portion of this chapter, that I was like, oh, come on, there's an area I keep trying to get to, but haven't been able to. The first thing we need to do regardless is talk to Mr. Oshiro and see what we can do. Alright. Talk to you. And then the music changes. So let's see here. What are our options? So we can go up there. I think it was this one up here that I was curious about anyways. But I'm pretty sure this is the one that my little guide is telling me is alright. Yeah, because we've definitely been here before. There's Theo doing his thing. Digging through there. And if we keep going, I feel like we just make our way to a, um, what's it called? This is where I kept trying to get but couldn't. Huh. Well, I guess we'll see. Although, I'm fairly confident I explored this area quite thoroughly. last time around. So, we'll see how this goes. There's the waterfall. 
Um. Huh. I remember. Yeah, I remember coming to this room. I'm trying to think about different ways to explore it. I'm not coming up with a whole lot. I don't know. I remember how to get that. Is it like, is there something up here? No? All right. Well, I guess we'll keep on moving, I guess. Hmm. Up here? No. Doesn't seem so. Up here, here, no. Up here? No. Yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll have to keep on exploring and hope for the best. Because I'm really not seeing a whole lot. to find? Is it up here? This is where it is. Interesting. Do we need to come here after hitting this button to clear up some of the stuff? I think we do. Interesting. Now it's open. And we have... This is not... Wait. Isn't this the same room? Isn't this the same room? What do we do from here? Do I have to make my way back up or do I continue down? I don't know. I, I would bet on having to go up. To make our way back to an area that otherwise would have been covered up by the debris but is now is but is now available. And I also just feel like from a challenge standpoint it would be more difficult to go back up where you came from rather than uh, the other way around. Oh wait. I did the same thing again. For some reason, I'm having an extraordinarily difficult time with this. Alright, there we go. That's where I wanted to go. So it was that pathway the whole time, but this, I remember when I hit the switch and came back out, I couldn't go back in. So I thought I needed to get all of the other switches first, then come here, and it still wasn't clear. So it is the switch from this area that unlocks this pathway. You just need to make sure you don't leave this area and you have to go back up, and that's how you find the crystal heart. Wow, that's really cool, really clever. Something I'd be really hard pressed to find on my own, but uh, really neat. So scattered and lost. And that is Chapter 3's Crystal Heart. And now we head onward to Chapter 4. Let's see, is this one of the ones that we found?
All right, let's see here. So we're able to go this way, and then over here, I think. Are we supposed to go up this way? Or is it this way? I remember the strawberry. Oh, this is what they mentioned. So that's a breakable wall. And this is going to be... Oh yeah, we did find this one. I remember, I was like, wait a minute. How in the world am I supposed to get all the way up there? Especially when I can't use those platforms on the side. Yet, there is this block. Okay, and that's where we continue. Now, is there something behind it? Hmm. Hmm, I don't know. It's got to do something with that block. But how in the world is that block relevant to getting up there? Can I cling onto the side of it? No, I can't. Um... Huh. I don't know, guys. I'm at a bit of a loss. <laughs> this block seems so out of place. Is this? You know what it reminds me of? Did, did, did Madeline just sneeze? That's actually adorable, or whatever that sound effect was. Um... Hmm. You know what this reminds me of? Let's... <laughs> this looks out of place, because I, I think it actually is from a different game. Let's try this. There we go. Okay, so now I'm in the background, and we can climb up these structures. That is super cool. That is, like, really, really cool. Um, for those of you that don't know, there is a block, a white block in Super Mario Bros. 3 that you can crouch behind like that as well to unlock, you know, some secret items and all that. Um, and then, okay, we're able to... Are we still in the background? No, we're not. Okay. Um, interesting. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. Pretty obscure. Um, I can see a lot of people needing to look that one up. Because, yeah, I mean, I guess unless you really haven't... Well, if you're not even really of a certain age, you might not even recognize that block, but... Alright, on to chapter 5. What was cool is that we had at least seen that crystal heart before. We had run into it and, you know, thought about it a bit in terms of the, the platforming. But, no, not quite. Um, let's see here. Chapter 5. Alright, so it seems... There's quite a bit of work to do in this area. I remember I'm not as big a fan of this section because of all the limited visibility. I understand the impact on like gameplay mechanics and all that, but um, it's just not exactly my my favorite. So where are we going? Is up this way? I'm trying to remember where I need to go. I think it's over this way, right? That would make sense. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Thought I got crushed there for a second. I'm trying to remember, where do I even need to go. I'm pretty sure that's all for like strawberries and stuff because I remember hunting around this area plenty. It's like you can go up here and then to the right. There's a whole switch to hit and everything. Let me... hmm. Let me, let me check again where I need to go, because I don't want to spend forever just hunting around in here. 
Oh, wow, so that's, that's the secret. That is quite the secret. Now we're gonna have this key following us for uh, quite some time. Um, no. Oh, I didn't even see that there. So now we keep on progressing as... Oh, I didn't even see the wall there again. That could have been pretty rough. Oh, darn it. <laughs> um, so I think we need to continue through this room as intended. So we'll do that for now. So I think we're still okay. Where do I use this key now? Is the real question. I don't know. So supposedly, there's a breakable floor there that I need to smash through, and that will bring me to a locked door that I can unlock? Wow. Talk about, you had to find that secret red bubble after going to the left, then going up, then coming over here and knowing, or finding this door and knowing you needed to not use that key from before. That, that's intense. Oops. Let's see where this takes us. Oops. I guess we'll uh, keep on... Oh no! <laughs> I did not anticipate appropriately. No! And again, I thought I could fall onto it there. And I can! Um, but I, I messed it up, unfortunately. All right. I think we're almost there. Yep. What? 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 Seriously? <laughs> we must have like just run out of our dash as we got there, so it bounced us off. Oh, that's sad. That is really sad. Sorry, it's not like it's, you know, that crazy of a platforming feat to, to make it up there but just funny. All right, so chapter five, Crystal Heart Obtained, Quiet and Falling. Very neat, very neat. I think these are really cool, like hidden locations and secret passages and everything, um, but you know, bless the people that didn't use a guide to find them the first time around and spent the hours hunting around in the game. Maybe if you enjoyed the music that much, it's worth it, but wow. All right, let's take a look at chapter six. All right. So, this one looks like it might actually be uh, pretty pretty tough to find. Was it this section that required it, or is it, um... Oh no, it's a different one. My bad. Yeah, I was just like reading up a little bit on how to find this particular one, and it seems, it seems pretty intense. Uh, we gotta use these feathers. I wonder, I think I might have actually done this already. Why did I do that, too? <laughs> Why did I do that? Okay, so it seems like I need to do this and then fly up in this direction. And then, oh, and there's another feather, so I need to break that wall. So that's my goal, is I need to get up there. Why am I having such a tough time with that lip? 
So I need to get all the way up there with this feather. Or... Do I not even need to, really? And then I can climb up here, I think? I think I did this the first time. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did this the first time I was in this level. And I found this room before. Yeah, I totally did this the first time. Because... There's like a... There's something I gotta do here. I don't even know how to, like, do my inputs, you know? Does that have to do with the birds again? If so... Yeah, because that's the same order. White was up, left, down right, up right, up left, left. Right? I'm pretty sure that was the, the arrangement. There's something going on here, though. I don't even know how to, like, interact. Oh! The, um... The dashes, like, play notes. Does that usually happen? No, it doesn't. Huh. What is with all of this, like, red shapes showing up on screen? I'm trying to figure out... There's gotta be some way to, like... Play the notes, right? I don't know. What do these mean? Do they mean like... Like really quick succession? So it's like... I don't know. Oops. I don't know what the last note would be, but... That's definitely something it's related to. And then the crystal heart obviously shows up right here. That's totally what's going to happen. Um, I don't know, guys. I don't know. I'm having a tough time. Oh, wait a minute. Did that make the white one light up? Or is it always like that? It looks particularly bright, but maybe that's just because it's the white one. It is. Okay. Huh. I don't know, guys. This might be one I think about for like a little bit longer, but then we'll probably call it quits. I don't think I'm, what's it called? Missing something in the room otherwise. Like up here, no. Up here, no. But I feel like these are obviously like arrows in a particular direction. Hmm. What do I do? None of them have lit up yet. Which means that whatever I'm doing, it's not... It's not right. Maybe it's like one of the two combinations? We don't know what this last one is either. I don't know. There are all these red shapes on the screen too and I don't know what they mean. Um... I'm not getting any sort of feedback on anything I've done so far. Uh, 
I don't know. Something to do with spacing? I don't know. Yeah, like, I can hear the notes. I'm obviously supposed to, like, play some sort of music or something in that. My dash is in different directions. <sighs> Do different notes. And I'm sure I'm being told some form of what notes to play. And it seems like it's just arrows. But... I don't know. Not really seeing a lot. Do I have to just guess on what that last one is? I think so. Hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a peek. It's saying I need to do the dash pattern from the first one. I thought that was just up, left, down right, up right, left, up left. I swear I did that! I must have just not done it quickly enough. Huh. Now, if that was this, what does this mean? Reverse? So it would be like up, so it'd be like up, left, down, right. Wait, no. That would be forward and then backwards. Let's just try, let's try just backwards then. So starting with yellow. That was not it. I doubt I just have to do this again. But if that was that, then based on that, what do we need to do for the second one? Hmm. To me, it looks like I would guess that you do the previous combination and then it in reverse. Maybe I just didn't do it quickly enough. But I think I think that would definitely be quickly enough. Let's I'm gonna see what the guide has to say about this one. Oh I see. So just from reading the first couple inputs they want me to do, it looks like this symbol isn't indicating in a direction per se, an arrow. It's showing a sort of mirroring. So this would be flipping all of the directions horizontally. So white will still be up, the purple will then be right, blue will be down left, red will be up left, and then that and that. Oh, and it wasn't even about how quickly we did it. Interesting, and if that's the case then, presumably, uh, the third torch is just going to be flipping vertically. So this would be down, left, up right, down right, left, down left. Okay. And now the last one, we have to infer what is the last symbol. If I had to guess, shown this, I would guess that it's just everything to the right. So, or not to the right, to the left. Um, they show flip horizontally, then flip vertically, and I would imagine it's just the reverse order potentially. So let's let's try doing that. Might be wrong, but let's see. 
That's not it. What would it be then? Would it be a diagonal flip? That would be a lot for the game to handle. That would mean white instead of being up, well, it depends on which diagonal you use, really. Let's try diagonal, like, from quadrant two to quadrant four. Then up would be left, left would be up, down right would still be down right, up right would be down left, left would be up, and up left would be up left. Okay, so it wasn't that. Now if it's diagonal like quadrant one to quadrant three, what would we get? Up would be right, left, yeah. So up would be right, left would be down, down right would be up left, up right would be up right, left would be down, and up left would be down right. Hmm, that didn't seem to do it either. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what they want for that last one. Just maybe... Um, if they're not flipping horizontally or vertically, maybe... Not reverse order, maybe... Maybe flip everything? Wow. Okay, so I feel like once you get a little bit of the the terminology down, like what do they mean by the second symbol? I think that's the really important thing. Um, is that not only that you have the original like directions memorized, but that you then realize they're telling you to flip this horizontally, then this one becomes easy, and then this one you kind of exhaust the diagonal reflections, and then you say, okay, maybe they just want me to flip everything. Regardless, Heavy and frail. We have obtained the the sixth, I believe, crystal heart. So I think we only have one more to go. Uh, however, this one is going to be a little bit more difficult because it involves collecting a bunch of gems along the way. And I know that we collected quite a few. I think we were actually only missing three of them. So do they show that on the page? They don't, unfortunately. Darn. Um, but I think they maybe went in order? I don't know. Let's take a look. Alright, so... We are going to um, make our final ascent yet again. We've done this climb so many times. Apparently, this, what's it called? This gem is at the end of the level. Like a lot of the strawberries, it requires intentionally avoiding the, the purple icon at the end. So we're going to progress as quickly as we can, not paying too much attention to... Oh man, well I should obviously be patient enough to not get myself killed. Here that's pretty helpful. I don't remember if this is like the, the quick path, or am, am I taking the long way around, or <laughs> what am I doing? Wow. Okay, um, I do think that this was the tougher path, if I recall correctly. But, regardless, I think we're pretty close to making it to the end. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, 
Oh wait, I should have. I realized my mistake. There's the strawberry. What? Oh, I thought I clung onto it. I'm fairly certain I had made that exact mistake the first time around too. So you guys get to see another recap of this section of the game. At least we have two dashes back now. Okay, so there is the purple icon. We are at the end of this stage. What we need to do is be careful not to avoid, or not to get the very last one. I think we're almost there. Yeah, because I remember the fire hydrant at the end. So we go up here, we can keep going. I remember, I think there was a strawberry over here, yes. Can we still keep going? Up this way, maybe? Over on this side? No? How about over here, then? Those look sturdy. That way, no. What we probably need to do is go up this way. Oh, no, I guess not. Um... Is there a breakable wall or something here? Up here? Maybe this barrier is breakable? No? Okay. Um... I'm not sure. But apparently... The gem is over here. Maybe we just already got it? Maybe we just already got it? I don't think so, though. I'm gonna- I'm gonna take a look to be safe. Did I just already find it, potentially? I wish there was a way to check. Because I'm not seeing anything over here. Is it earlier in the level? Maybe. So that was really weird, but my uh, my guide was telling me that it wasn't all that helpful. Maybe they mentioned the first subsection is like the start. I think that's what it is. So, all right, we'll we'll head on up here. The guide said it would probably be, um, not probably be, but it should be at the end. I misinterpreted the wrong section, so that's my bad. So we'll get to the end of this level now, and then we'll go back to our favorite level. We're, I don't know, moving through it all pretty quickly. Oh, a lot of you guys mentioned I made this section a lot more difficult than I needed to, simply because I, oh, I should have gotten this. Also, I shouldn't have used my dash there, but that's all right. Um, because I had forgotten that I had two dashes. So instead of the final purple whatever, we're instead supposed to go across. Maybe? I forget which of them is the last one, though. I think it's this one. So we'll head on up here, and this is where we get that gem. Okay. So there's one of the gems we were missing. And now we will... Well, I mean, I guess we might as well just hit the purple thing and go to the next chapter that way. Honestly, I think it might even be quicker. Okay, now we're back here to do this again. Is 
And instead of going to the top right, we actually need to go to the left. I thought it didn't matter before because we were just, you know, um, potentially going to the the end of the level, but but it does. It does matter. Because <laughs> now we go over here, keep on climbing up, get that strawberry, continue onwards. What? My bad, I guess. Oh, the momentum is weird from... I'll just jump earlier and not worry about it. We go down here. And this is where we get the gem. Okay. Got a cool little section here. So I gotta immediately jump up and to the left there. Cool. So now we have that gem, and I believe there's only one more gem that we didn't actually get the first time around. I'm trying to remember which one it is. I, it was the one that was all the way on the right. If I had to guess, and just from what I remember of what it looks like, that means it's going to be the last one. So let's take a look. I'm going to take a look at the guide to see where that is. I think I found this one, or something like it before. But this part, I don't think I got. This is why that section was relevant. Wow! That's, uh, that's pretty cool. Okay, so now we got some- we got a neat little platforming section here. Oh, I messed it up already. Oh! I was gonna say, but I almost saved it! <laughs> Oh man, I should have waited a bit longer. This is cool. I uh, I dig this platforming. I gotta take that in a more calm and collected fashion. Oh, what? Did I not? Alright, let's... I can appreciate that uh, they made all of this dashing pretty difficult here at the end. Maybe I should just, yeah, lay a little bit lower. Oh man, I was still too early. But yeah, I think it's actually going to be a little bit easier if I stay a little bit lower. There we go. Of all things to die on in that section. Of all things to die on. That was not how I had anticipated it. It was just because I was looking ahead. Here I am talking about how much easier it is to just stay lower. And then I go ahead and, well, take the high road. Why did I forget about that block there? That's obviously what I need to grab onto. But for some reason, it just evaded my mind. I was so fixated on the, the red block, or the red bubble. Alright. Jump to the block, jump to the block, jump to the block. Okay. Much better. To the right. Switch. Nice. And I think with that we should have all of the components. I think with that we have all the gems and we can get the last crystal heart. A healthy number of deaths there, always good. So now let's head to the last bit. Gotta remember that they really force me to be careful with my dashes at this section. All 
right, we'll keep on going up. I remember it's like one of the last rooms we can kind of go to the right. Oh, it's not even one of the last rooms. It's like right here, I think. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure we have them all now. We have that one, second one, third one. All right, here we go. All six of the gems get ourselves our last crystal heart. Pink Sunrise. Very neat, very neat. I wonder if um, that changes the ending. I doubt it. If it does, let me know and I'll come back. But for now, we have all seven crystal hearts. So, definitely happy about that. The next thing coming up is going to be the B-sides, I believe. There is obviously Chapter 8, which we've unlocked because we have all the Crystal Hearts. But I think the recommended order is to do the B-sides first, then Chapter 8, then Chapter 9. So, I think that might be what we do. Also, what about the, the Pico B? <laughs> or the Pico 8. When should I complete that? You guys had mentioned that I actually got really close to finishing it the first time I gave an attempt. Is that something you guys would want me to see want to see me go through? I don't know. Um, I'm, I'm curious, so maybe I'll make an episode out of it. But regardless, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed the Crystal Hearts. I think they're pretty cool, pretty intricate. Um, I'm glad I used a guide for them. <laughs> uh, I feel like the puzzle aspects, much like the, the platforming aspects of the strawberries, the puzzle aspect of the crystal hearts were, were really cool so um much appreciated and you know how they were hidden you utilizing different mechanics really cool um would have taken forever to find them <laughs> that's for sure but anyways i'll see you guys in the next episode but until then this is movie night zero and this mission is complete